What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're out here at the flooded Susquehanna River. I'm gonna toss around this jig, North Branch Tackle Jig. Now, uh, yeah, we're gonna get on some smallies. So far we caught one really nice one. We're just gonna keep beating the bank and see what we can land. But thank you for clicking this video. I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy it. But let's get fishing. All right, well, as you can see, the river is flooded. But we're still going to toss around this jig. Still going to use the North Branch Tackle 1 8 ounce. The purple and brown skirt. I just changed my trailer to a Junior Bandito Bug Green Pumpkin. So yeah, let's see if we can find one here. The river has finally crested, so now it's on the decline. It's still probably around 16 foot right now. Oh, just had a bite right there. It was literally straight down right there. So I'm really trying to keep it close to these rocks. Just work the inside line of these rocks here. Thinking there might be something butted up against them. There we go, got him. Jeez, look at that tank. Wow, what a good fish. Dude, just freaking fired up. Wow, this is a chunk. This is a good fish. Jeez. I believe this is the one that bit. Look at the gut on that guy. Dude, absolutely choked that jig. Holy crap, that was a rush. Dude, that has me shaking. That was such an intense hit, dude. My drag slipped a little bit. Wow, look at that guy. That is a beautiful, beautiful smallmouth right there. Let's get a quick weight with this one. Three, six. Nice. I've been getting on a lot of three pounders lately, but I'm not going to complain. That is awesome. Let's let this girl go. Just an absolutely awesome fish. Sweet. Oh, that's a good catch to start the day. All right, I'm going to try this little area. Like I said, there's some calm water here along the side of the bank. That's primarily what I'm looking for is the calmer water because that's where the fish are going to be up out of this current. I mean, I love fishing, so these conditions with the high water, it's just exciting. You just never know what you're gonna hook into. So then again, I'm using so a trailer that has flapping appendages. Try to so get some movement in the water. Nice, compact, bulky profile so they can find it. it seems to be doing the trick. fish a few more spots here at the river than I think I'm gonna try Penge Creek as well. So the creek should be coming down too. There's a the fish. Nice. He's right in the net. Yeah, finally got a net. Shout out to Placino for hooking me up with this. Especially on days like this. Come here, bud. There we go. Not a big one, but heck, we're catching them. All right, thanks for biting, little bud. I said you get bit and the river's high, you just never know if it's gonna be a giant spawning smallmouth or just a little buck like that. 
seeing like thousands and thousands of minnows up against the bank here. Which is a good thing because the bass are going to be where the bait is. Yeah, I just want to give a quick shout out to the side Placino for hooking me up with this little net here. They come in handy sometimes, especially when you have like a deep drop off like this. And I don't want to bank flip a giant. Because if you guys know from my older video when I lost that mega I'm trying to bank flip him, that was heartbreaking. So yeah, we got a net now. I'll leave details and links in the description of everything I'm using. The gear, like the Bull Bay Rods Banshee here I'm using. Got it paired with a SLX Shimano DC reel, 10 pound fluorocarbon. And of course the North Branch Tackle Jig. It's kind of like the same thing here as the creek. I cast it out, let the current take my lure and swing it towards the bank and then just try to work it up the bank. Okay, that's why I use an eighth ounce. It's light so the current can take it. And I'm not digging into the bottom real hard with it. Kind of just floats along the bottom. Well, if one of you guys lost a purple ball, there it is. I'll leave it right there for you. All right, well, there's a high probability that we're gonna lose our jig here. Cause I know there's a snag right down there. There's like a root ball. We're gonna give it a try. There we go. Oh, I lost him. Dude, crushed it. Kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't ready for it. All right, well, there's one here. See if we'll come back for it. There we go. Oh, came off. Dude, that felt like a really good fish, whatever that was. Come on. Dang it. I hate losing fish, especially when they feel big. There's that snag I was talking about. Oh, there goes that jig. Hopefully I can get it back when the river goes down. All right, so I only have one other jig that I brought along with me. Again, it's a eighth ounce North Branch Tackle skirted jig. This one, as you can see, has got some green, some orange, and I just have a little chunk trailer on there. All right, hopefully we don't lose this one. So we're going to have to take a walk back to the truck. All right, let's see if we can get it done here at the creek. Hopefully not lose any more fish. Oh, fish, look at that first cast. This feels like a nice one. That is a nice one. Man, he is angry. We're gonna have to get down here. Where's he at? Dude, that was literally first cast. Come here, bud. That is a nice one. I'm in that. No, get back here. There we go. Ooh. Thank God for that net. I'm glad that arm extends out too. All right, we gotta get situated here. Dude, that is a chunk. I love fishing high water. Freaking love it. All right, now that we made it off that bank, let's take a look at this beast. Dude, look at that. That is a chunk. That is a football of a smallie right there. Nah, the creek, man. That is awesome. All right, 
let's get her unhooked here and get a quick wait with her. Dude, that was nuts. I feel like as soon as it hit the bottom, dude, this fish was on it. Such a soft, soft bite too. Three and a half, three eight. That is awesome. Like I said, I freaking love fishing high water. It's my favorite condition to fish, no doubt. Eat on these big old chunks. Wow. All right. One last look at this beaut. I'm so glad I came to the creek. Let's let her go. See if we can get on some more. Thanks for biting, girl. Not gonna hurt to make a couple more casts. Like I said, that was the first one. Another fun. That feels like another decent one. Dang. This is so awesome. Come here, bud. There we go. Another absolute dandy of a smallie. Dude, this is awesome. What an awesome day of fishing. Chill out. There we go. Not as big as that first one we just got, but still really, really good fish. All right, thanks for biting, bud. Well, heck, I'm just gonna keep casting here. Until they stop biting. There we go. There's another one. They're just loaded right there. Just a little guy. Still, still catching them. There we go. A little butter ball. Still, good fish. Just a little tip I can give you of more or less how I break down where I'm casting. So I cast like right along the bank and then I just try to move it out maybe a couple feet. Cause like I said, they could be anywhere in this column right here between that fast current out there and butt it up right against the bank. I mean, I already know they're probably not gonna be out there in the current. So I just keep it, like I said, within 30 feet off the bank, but just, like I said, make a cast straight up, cast a little bit over, another cast a little bit over farther, etc., etc. Just helps you break down more area instead of just casting right along the bank every time. All right, so I want to interrupt this video real quick to say that I'm going to redo the giveaway because the winners that I picked have not got a hold of me, so we're going to pick two more winners. The rules are Simply be a subscriber, please hit that thumbs up button, like this video, and tell me what your favorite trailer is for jigs that you use. And I will pick somebody from the comments and send you out some awesome stuff, which you can see right here. All right, let's get back to the video. Oh, you just missed one right there. There we go. That feels like a nice one. He's got some weight. Dude, this is sick. So much fun. Where's he at? There he is. That's another nice one. Come here, bud. Oh, there we go. Dude, this is awesome. Thank you. down the hatch with that jig I definitely want it look at that one that is another awesome Penge Creek smallmouth right there just a healthy quality fish all right thanks for biting girl 
And this is nuts. I literally have not moved from this spot. Just cast it out there and you just keep on swallowing it. Another one. This one feels good too. It's not bad. Easy, bud. Easy. Not a bad one. It's for biting. I think this chartreuse head is helping it stand out too in the stained water. So if you have not used North Branch Tackles jigs, get on their website, use code VIN10, save you 10%. There we go. That one crushed it. That's a nice one. Oh, we just popped off. Dang it. Dude, that was a good one too. Wow, what an awesome day of fishing, guys. I really hope you enjoy this video. Like I said, when the water's high, I personally love fishing in these conditions. But if you guys haven't, I suggest you tie on your favorite jig or hit up North Branch Tackle hit the banks because they're biting and they're big too i mean that's not including the, the ones that we lost which i felt like a giant but i mean we're making up for it still getting on some pretty good fish but i hope you enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up if you did please leave a comment below if you guys throw around a jig too but i'll see you guys soon stay fishing stay anchored